Boy, do we have something in store today or what? We are not going to be customizing paper towels today, but we will need them to wipe our paintbrushes on because, ooh, do we have a plan? What is this, you ask? Well, found this in the shoe. So earlier today, I went to the dollar store and I got not one, not two, but three pairs of shoes. These bad boys were only $5 at Dollar General. That is my kind of price right there. Yes. And they're really soft. They're really nice. They actually look really comfy. So for 15 bucks, we get to customize a bunch of stuff and I'm excited. All right, first things first, hunger and thirst. Let's be real guys, I really like this. I wanna replicate this on a pair of shoes, inspired by Simple and Modern, not sponsored, but I gotta credit my inspiration, right? I'll add my own flair to it. All right, let's do some ombre babies here. Pink to purpley blue. What do you think? Ooh, this is beautiful. Or should I say, shoe tiffle? Can I be real with you for like one second? We all know this whole concept here would work much better with an airbrush, but your girl doesn't have one. I, I do have a brush that like swings through the air, you know, and hits the shoe. I don't know if you can tell stuff is changing yet. <laughs> I might have to shorten that area. I'm not sure. We'll see. We're getting a little bit of gradient. Isn't that gradient? Gradient? Great. We need more blue up in here. This is kind of a pleasant periwinkly color. I like it. So for a little bit of reference, my shoes are supposed to be a lot darker than this mug. As I said, personal flair, right? Mira from the future here. Before we go on, I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is a creative platform with thousands of different classes to choose from. Guys, it is so great. You can start new hobbies and like learn how to knit or do ceramics but you can also grow your side business or start a business with different things like videography, editorial illustration, freelance art, how to become a YouTuber. There's literally so much to choose from. I really like Skillshare because it fits into my lifestyle. I can learn anytime, anywhere. There are different like workshops on there. You can submit projects in the classes you're taking. Ah, it is so cool. What's even cooler? It is really affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And actually the first 500 subscribers to click that link in the description gets two free months of Skillshare. So if you're watching this and you're maybe thinking about it, you wanna start a new hobby, start your side hustle, click that link, there's nothing to lose. I'm currently taking Drawing as Self-Discovery by Mary Andrew. And it teaches you how to use art as a coping mechanism. I think it's really cool. If you're somebody who's not good at verbally saying how you feel, you might like that class. So I'll link it down below. And once again, if you want to try out two free months of Skillshare, the first 500 subscribers to click that link down there in the description, you get two months free. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for more shoes? This is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Hello? Gradients on a shoe? What is this? Wow. I want these ones. Too bad they're half size, too small. All right guys, are you ready for the mid video game? I have a paint color in my hand and you have to guess what color this is, okay? I will show you very soon, but for now keep watching to find out. And by the way, if you guess the color right, you get a gold star in the comments. So make sure you comment your guess below 
because I will try to reply with a gold star unless this video blows up again and then you defeat me, so. A little more blue paint won't hurt. Gotta get that gradient rolling, you know. Come on, man. I do this every video. Why? All right, guys, are you ready to know what color this is? It is gift box blue. I don't think anybody would say that. Like, who names a color that? So if you said mint, I will give you a gold star in the comments. There you go. You win the game if you said mint. We're gonna do kind of like a galaxy, except this is not really like a night sky. It's more like a sunset sky. Pasca's at the ready. Right, guys, we are starting the second pair of shoes now. I have a bomb idea for this, so let's get started. Yo, it is late. I am tired. <laughs> but we are going to finish, but this looks like a bowling shoe. I promise you we are not going for that look. <laughs> yeah, bowling shoe or saddle shoes. Who remembers those? Yeah, back in the day. Let's do the base colors of this. We use this tan. I was afraid this was like not the right color, but hey, we nailed it. Okay, it is the next afternoon now. I took the morning off because that was a late night. And we're gonna finish these shoes. Let's just uh, get to it. So far, it's looking like this. I know, kind of weird, right? But something sweet is about to go down. This brush is so cute and tiny. <laughs> This is sick. I like it. I would wear these. <laughs> They're so cute. So our first two pairs of shoes were very loud. Let's do something a little more elegant, but with taste. Hey, we're getting botanical up in here. Okay. You know we can't get through a Mirror Byler video without mentioning plants. So yeah. All right. First things first, we'll take this shoe. Just gonna do some tropical leaves all over it. Goodness. Tell you what, some art projects cannot be done with your hair down. I am over this. All right, we have this burgundy color. It's very pretty. And it's about to go on these shoes. All right, we're done with these shoes. The burgundy is a little darker than I thought it would be, but I kind of like it. All right, we finished our shoes. never guessed that these were $5 from Dollar General. I think it's really cool. 
And they look so comfy. Let me tell you what. Unfortunately, this one is too small for me, but hey, wait, let me, let me see. It doesn't fit. My foot can't even get halfway in. Man, I'm like a six and a half, seven. So these guys would fit me, which is great because I, I might keep them. We'll see. I'm so excited about this pair of shoes. And then this was our final pair. This is a size eight, by the way. The dollar store only had one of each size, so took what I could find. I think what I want you guys to take away from this video is you don't have to have like the most expensive things. Like you can make over a $5 pair of shoes and they'll look sweet. So I hope this inspires you guys to try this. Honestly guys, I have really fallen in love with customizing shoes. It is so fun. This, I think I've done like five or six pairs now, something like that. I just really enjoy it. That's all. <laughs> it's cool because people can use this stuff instead of like hanging it on their wall. Anyway, let me know which pair is your favorite. Can we also just talk about how this inspired this? All right guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Let me know if you are going to do this. And if you do, can you please, 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 please tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I just, I'm dying to see what you guys do. As I said, I found these at Dollar General for only $5, so there you go. And if you find them cheaper anywhere else, let me know because I might do this again. It's really fun. I don't know why it's so fun, but I, I really enjoyed it. So, okay, bye.